you see two uh, SSD, let's say one terabyte and one terabyte, and one costs maybe 132 and the other is 50, is less than half of the price. Uh, maybe you have another brand, this is another, one brand, and maybe you have another brand, Kingston, and the same thing, uh, maybe 132 here, uh, 50 in the other hand. So I'm going to tell you why is the difference, uh, which one you should buy. So for instance, here I am in Amazon. So as you can see, we have a 960 gigabytes is one terabyte, let's say, to make a short one terabyte. And yeah, as you can see here, the price is 132. So that is the price that you're going to get for this uh, drive. So in this case, the model is uh, Kingston. It says data center, center but it, there is a typo here, as you can see. So it's a data center, Kingston data center. So and the model is DC500. In the future, it might be DC5000. Who knows? It doesn't matter. So if you see the, this video in 20 years, you know that this is going to be kind of the same. So basically, they are going to have one that is made for data centers and another one that is going to be made for you know rest, regular uh, computers. So here, I'm going to show you the other one. So that way you can see, for instance, same uh, capacity, 960 gigs, let's say one terabyte to make short. And here we have a $50. So $50, this is the price of today. Uh, I am in US, as usual, if you want to buy something like that and you don't, you cannot uh, get it, just let me know, I can send it to you. Otherwise, I'll leave the link if you're here in US and you can buy it yourself. So basically, uh, here we have this other model. As you can see, it says A400. So I bought this as well for another computer. And so the difference is huge. Why, you know, you could buy, you know, two of one terabyte uh, or almost three for the price that you're getting, uh, you know, the other one. But there is a huge difference. So if you go here to the website, uh, for instance, here in Kingston website, it's, it's going to be the same thing if you use a Crucial or another brand, Sony, who knows? Another brand, it doesn't matter. It's going to be almost all the same. So as you can see here, this all is it's made usually for data centers, uh, real centrics or misuse or heavy workloads. And uh, usually the, the chip that you're going to have inside, you know, is going to be more resilient. It's going to endure, you know, reading and writing all the time because if you have just the regular SSD, usually they have a, a limit. Like if you, you know, abuse them, uh, torture them, they're, they're not going to last a very long time. But these are made for that. It's made for data centers to be, you know, used 24-7, reading, writing all the time. And that is the purpose of, of this. So here is going to tell you, you know, uh, many things, uh, they uh, read uh, centric SSD, mixed use, end-to-end uh, -end, uh, protection, quality of service. So basically, you're going to have like a constant uh, latency or quick uh, time or quick response, like they say here uh, for uh, servers. And as you can see here, they say the, applic the applications use cases, so virtualization. If you want a high-speed uh, database, if you have, you know, uh, SQL or something else, uh, maybe a media streaming. So media streaming, I don't know about the, uh, about that. Maybe if you have a server, great. But if you have a desktop, uh, the thing is, uh, why I bought this is because I have one of these. So this is the Ninja uh, Five, as you can see here. I have another one, is a uh, two. But uh, this one is the one I use to record the the videos. So as you can see here, I don't know, it's it's here. Yeah, it's here. So as you can see, it's a uh, 4K. So if you don't have a very fast uh, drive, you're going to have issues that it's going to drop uh, frames when I'm recording, and then I have to edit it and then upload it to YouTube, and then you're going to see, you know, kind of like that, or you're going to ha have some issues. Every manufacturer, uh, they have the compatibility list. So if you buy, let's say, this, or if you buy a Blackmagic uh, Design, it's another brand like this, but, you know, it's uh, to record a video as well. They have their own uh, compatibility list, so make sure that you follow the, their instructions and you should not have any issues. I'm telling you this because, for instance, if you are going to buy a server like this, I have this uh, server in, in, in this case. Uh, I record uh, my, my videos. And uh, you're going to have a compatibility list, as you can see here. It depends on the, the, on the server that you choose, but in, in this case, uh, QNAP, if you select, you know, whatever model that, that you have, and then they will tell you which one to buy. 
if you buy something that is not here in the list you may have the issue or maybe it will work i mean you have people you know they they don't care or maybe they, they have a lot of free time in in their hands and maybe they, they they're not working in nothing critical and they test you know with the cheap uh, drives for instance these are cheap drives you can try if you have any issue, if you have dropped uh, frames or it's not syncing, if you put it in the server and it's not syncing, uh, syncing properly, you know, all the drives because you're using it in RAID mode, you know, in a mirror or some other mode and it's not working properly and you lose data and, you know, you're testing it, okay, that's fine. But if you're using it for a business, I recommend you to follow the manufacturer is instructions. So just buy the, the list, the, you know, any drive that they have in their list, whatever works uh, for you and use that and you're going to be good. Otherwise, you're going to be a guinea pig. There are people that, you know, they say, okay, I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it for a year or something like that. Everything works great. Maybe they will send information to many manufacturers saying, hey, I've been working, I've been using this and it worked. Okay, great. That, that, that is a, a good thing. Otherwise, if you don't want to waste time, like in, in my case, I want to buy something that is going to work. I don't want to start, you know, testing things. I'm not getting paid for that. So that is the, the thing. So this is uh, the, the main differences that you're going to have with this. So I'm going to show you another uh, website. For instance, uh, this is the data center SSD. As you can see, the, the read is 555 uh, megabits uh, per second. The write is uh, 520. And if we compare it, exactly the same thing with the other model that is the, you know, just the basic one. As you can see, you have 500 megabytes and you have a 450. So it's slower. Uh, the latency is not going to be as good as the other one, but uh, you know, it's less uh, of the half of the price of the other one. The one is 132, the other is 50. So, you know, almost uh, three times less. So if that works for you, you have a customer, you know, that they are browsing on the internet, maybe Word, Excel, and nothing very, you know, complicated than that, you know, put the cheapest thing and it will work. I have done it, yeah, and I, I do that, you know, with most of my customers because they, they read the newspaper, read, they read maybe the emails, few emails here and there, and that's it. But if you have, you know, a customer that they are going to use these type of devices or a server or something like that, just go to the thing that is going to work for sure and you're going to have the highest uh, performance. So basically that is the differences between one drive and the other one. If you have any question, please let me know in the section below. Like I said, I am in US. If you need any drive, electronics, tools, or anything like that, just let me know. I can send it to you if you're outside of US, DHL, FedEx, or whatever works uh, for you. And if you're here in US, I'll leave you the links in the video description so that way you can buy it yourself. If you have any question, let me know and see you in the next class.